So there's this trend going on now in Christianity where people will say that, oh yeah, you know, I love Jesus, but I don't really want any of that religion stuff or theology stuff for all those laws and doctrines. You know, it's all about Jesus and all that other stuff doesn't really matter anymore. And, but, and that sounds all good, but if you think about it, Saying that all you want is Jesus and you don't want any of those, you know, laws or doctrines or anything like that. Essentially saying that you want the rela you want a relationship without any boundaries. You want all the benefits of the relationship without any of the hard work, dedication, commitment, or any other things that come along with having an actual solid relationship. I mean, think about it. Would you marry someone who had no respect for boundaries within a relationship? Would you marry someone who really had no intent of actually committing to you? Would you marry someone who only wanted you for what you can offer them? All they wanted was what you can do for them, the benefits of the relationship, and didn't really care about you at all? How long would that relationship last? Not very long. It wouldn't be a very happy one either. That's not what a relationship's supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about just getting what you can get out of it. But yet, that's how we treat God many times. We don't really care about trying to, you know, please Him or doing what He's called us to do. All we care about is getting what we can get out of the relationship. All we care about is what's in it for me. How can God answer my prayers and bless me and do things for me? All I care about is me. I don't really care about following God's laws or, you know, doing things to please him. I just want him to please me. <laughs> you know, there are many times in the Bible where God calls his people harlots. Um, for example, in Jeremiah 3, verse 6 through 9, it says, then the Lord said to me in the days of Josiah the king, Have you seen what faithless Israel did? She went up on every high hill and under every green tree, and she was a harlot there. I thought, after she has done all these things, she will return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw that all the adulteries of faithless Israel had sent her away and given her a right of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear but she went and was a harlot also. So a harlot is essentially a prostitute. Someone who, again, is not really committed to any relationship, but it's just simply getting all the benefits of the relationship and then moving on to the next one. That's all it is. And that's how many times we end up treating Jesus in this so-called relationship that we want to have with him. We want the benefits, but yet we don't want any of the sacrifice that comes along with having a relationship with Jesus. We don't want any of the commitment that comes. We don't want any of the boundaries that come with that. We don't want all that stuff. All we want is the benefits. And yet, we wonder why our relationship with God isn't all that fulfilling. Well, it's because the relationship is one-sided. And we all know that one-sided relationships never really work out very well. So, my challenge for you is don't just seek after God for your own pleasure and for your own benefit and for what you can gain out of it. But rather, seek God to really get to know Him for who He is and see how you can please Him, what you can do for Him. Because any relationship takes both sides, a give and take on both sides, sacrifice on both sides. And it's not about you, it's about the other person. Love is not self-centered, it's other-centered. It's not about what the person can do for you, but rather what you can do for that person. And so if we want to be in a relationship with Jesus, it becomes less and less about us and more and more about him. So my question for you is simply this. 
Do you truly have a relationship with Jesus? Or are you just simply trying to reap the benefits without any of the commitment? Think on these things.